The following sections describe the use of the force plate in sport and exercise. These sections comprise introduction to force plate systems, components of force, sampling frequency, body weight and zeroing the force plate, forces during locomotion, and the centre of pressure and free moment. Here you can see the covered surface of a force platform that is mounted into the ground and is flush with the surrounding floor. It is typical of force platform setups that exist in biomechanics laboratories. A cable connects the force platform to an amplifier. On top of the amplifier, you can see a connection box that is used to synchronize the force platform with other measurement devices. For example, an LED in the field of view of a camera would enable video to be synchronized with force data. A cable connects the amplifier to an analog to digital converter in the PC. The AD converter converts the amplified force signal from analog to digital. Force ranges on the amplifier can be set separately for the horizontal components FY and FX and for the vertical component FZ. It is important to set appropriate ranges depending on the activity being measured in order to maximize the resolution of the recorded force data. For example, a larger vertical force range would be required for somebody landing from a jump than for walking. Force plates used in sport and exercise biomechanics use either strain gauge or piezoelectric transducers. The force plate on the left is manufactured by Kistler and has piezoelectric transducers mounted in each corner. Piezoelectric force plates are most suited to measuring forces from short dynamic activities such as running and jumping. The plate on the right is manufactured by AMTI and measures forces using strain gauge technology. Strain gauge plates are more suited to longer, less dynamic activities such as the assessment of balance during archery or shooting. Interchangeable surfaces allow for a surface to be installed that is suitable for the activity being analysed. For example, a synthetic grass surface for use when evaluating an astroturf trainer. The material properties of the surface covering the plate will affect the forces being measured. The cushioning properties of different surfaces can therefore be investigated during gait or impacts. Frictional properties of a surface can also be evaluated during, for example, cutting manoeuvres.